Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday the Holy Church has entered into the Christmas Lent, or it's called Advent. It's a special time of expecting the coming of the Lord, of the Savior, into this world. And uh, we remember that uh, in the time when Christ came, the whole world was expecting for a Savior. But it was not expecting for Christ, it was expecting for Antichrist. See? The uh, Israelites, they were expecting the Hebrew, the Jews, they were expecting some uh, political leader, uh, some powerful king who will solve the economic and <laughs> political problems, will bring glory and uh, rich life and prosperity to the Palestine, to the people of Israel. And uh, pagans, they were waiting also for some uh, solution to all these political problems that they had within the Roman Empire. Okay, it was big political uh, struggles and problems. Um, and uh, social problems like uh, uh, moral okay, degradation. Uh, they had uh, <coughs> philosophical uh, uh, okay, unable to find answers to questions. Okay? They had all kinds of uh, problems at that time and they were also expecting some savior. And of course in the East there was also this expectation uh, in, in Persia, in Babylon, in those uh, areas. And the whole world was expecting some kind of salvation to come. But uh, uh, they did not receive Christ. Okay? Most of these people, they did not receive him. And the similar thing is happening today. Okay? The whole world is expecting the end of the world. Okay? It's expecting um, some bad uh, events to happen and also expecting some relief, some uh, salvation from these events. Okay? Uh, we want salvation from pandemics. Okay? We want salvation from uh, economic problems that we have, unemployment, uh, in South Africa, it's 40% unemployment uh, that had this new uh, stem of this virus. Um, and the whole world is um, uh, struggling. Okay? Uh, people who, are, uh, who, who have faith, they see all these moral problems. They expect, okay, we need now some revival of, of moral, some salvation coming uh, to solve those problems. We, we need uh, salvation to solve the uh, pollution, okay, ecological problem. We have this poverty the problem, uh, hunger okay, uh, in many countries. <clears throat> Here we had mission, we have mission in uh, East Timor, people uh, uh, have hunger. Uh, in Africa people die from famine. Okay, we, we see these all kinds of problems and uh, we ourselves are very much worried in this. We're immersed in this a circle of these problems, okay, uh, call it circle of sansara or anything, okay, we're, oh, we're worried, we look what news are coming, what is going to be uh, happening next, okay, uh, this Davos forum in January is coming, what they're going to decide, what, okay, we are so much concerned uh, with uh, what is happening because we're expecting some salvation to come, but uh, salvation is not that okay and unfortunately the eventual problem will be the same people most of the people will choose antichrist instead of christ including those people who consider themselves christians okay and this is why it's so important that uh, to put great effort into this land that we have that we can prepare our hearts that it's the real the true christ is going to come and dwell in our hearts and today I want to say a few words about this uh, and uh, about the peace that will come into our hearts from on high. Very often the priest during the service says, peace be to all. Okay? This peace is the peace from above, Irini, that's in uh, Greek. It's not uh, okay that you okay, go to sleep, okay? No, it's a spiritual peace. It's very different, okay? This is uh, because we gain the power, the strength, 
the joy from the Lord himself and uh, he is above all those problems believe me okay for him all this pandemic economic poverty for him it's not a problem at all okay and he gives this joy and peace to every one of us so that he can gain us he can let us be saved from these worries from these troubles from these fears from all these problems okay <clears throat> but we need to choose we need to make this firm choice of christ and this is the uh, mystery that is coming the mystery of christ coming into this world the personality of christ it's not just okay i just choose everything good i'm against everything bad and i'm choosing christ no or i just go baptized and i just become christian and believe in christ no <clears throat> this is interpersonal uh, choice that we make and we make it once when we uh, put step on this path and we also have to make it daily every day this is like marriage okay when we marry someone we make this uh, commitment we uh, it's one time commitment we gain uh, we got to get into this marriage but later we need to uh, live up to this commitment every day make this choice and decision every day and actually every moment because every moment we can uh, look somewhere else betray this commitment and we betray christ every moment we do sin we say lord sorry i do this i choose this at this moment why because this is this because i am tired because i am uh, I have this passion coming out, or I have uh, something else, it's very attractive. So for now, wait a second, okay? This is what we have. So, uh, and we're lacking everything. We're lacking both in this first original commitment, it's maybe problematic, and this daily commitment, this uh, every moment commitment. We're betraying Christ, and this is the biggest problem. It's much bigger than this pandemic or any other problem. The problem of people departing from God, betraying God, not loyal to Christ. And this is what we need to think about during this uh, time of Advent. And uh, how do we say if we chose Christ? Okay, what uh, is true Christ? Uh, Christmas, okay, this Advent season, it's not about nice uh, music and all those uh, uh, lights and uh, shopping and giving gifts to each other and all these things this is good but it's not the main point the main point is different the main point i will uh, say now it's uh, i summarize it into five uh, aspects okay the first and very important aspect of this is rejecting self the lord self said reject thyself take up your cross and follow me and who will reject his soul he will gain it he will who will um, uh, let his soul perish he will gain it but we are so selfish we we care about ourselves what i will do today uh, what uh, how can i enjoy how can i spend my time fun how can i make more money how can i uh, buy better things for myself okay uh, how, how I can more comfortable thing okay uh, more tasty food more uh, healthy drinks and many other things okay we, we are concerned we're obsessed about ourselves okay uh, but uh, okay th this is our choice we don't choose to uh, uh, for forfeit everything to uh, abandon everything follow Christ this is something to think about Another aspect that we need to think about is whether we choose the path of holiness, path of uh, uh, the saints, okay? Um, we throw away all darkness, all sin, all deeds of the uh, death, all passions, all um, evil thoughts, anything. We just throw it away, reject it. We want piety, virtue, light. This is what we choose. This is our path. This is our commitment. 
this is uh, the way to salvation and what the Lord is willing to uh, us to, to be like, to have, to uh, advance in this. So this is another important, the second important aspect of my choice. When I choose Christ, what does it mean to choose Christ? Okay, and to help us in, to develop, to become stronger in this is the great land, uh, is the Christmas land. And I will uh, say a few, few more words about how do we fast uh, in a moment. Okay, the third thing that we need, uh, we need to reject this world. We reject this world for us. Uh, the Lord said, don't love this world and what is in this world. Okay, don't be always thinking uh, tasty food, nice clothes, uh, vacations, um, uh, some enjoyment, uh, my uh, status, how people uh, perceive me, like me, uh, yeah, this vainglory thing. Uh, okay, just uh, don't uh, care about this too much. You're still in this world, you're not living to the desert. But this is not the main priority for you anymore. Okay, this is important. This also means we choose Christ. People uh, that chose Antichrist, they did not make this choice. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what Christ brings and He wants to us to have. This is third one. The fourth one, the fourth one, is that we need to choose to create, to build. Okay, not to destroy. And, uh, okay, we can build wrong thing, I will say about this later, but first we need to choose not to destroy, not to destroy somebody else's work, uh, not to destroy you know, somebody's life, somebody's family, okay, uh, somebody's uh, okay, psychological situation. We are not destroyers, okay, we are building, the Lord said, whoever is uh, gathering with me, not just himself, gathering with me. He, whoever is not gathering with me, he is spreading, he is scattering, okay? Uh, he is destroying, basically. So the Lord wants us to put together, together, together what, okay? To uh, build what? To build the kingdom of heaven in our hearts and in our families and in this world. To build anything related to this creative power that he gave us in the ministry to him. Be it our family, be it our uh, work that we do, be it some other form of creative uh, commitment that we have. <clears throat> but it has to be done with Christ. Because there is another building, a okay? building of Babylon, building uh, Mammon. Okay? Maybe we build uh, big buildings or business or uh, something else, but this is full of vainglory. This is full of, I will let us make our name. I want to be known. Okay, this uh, vainglory, this proudness. Um, the building of uh, financial uh, success or building of something else. Okay, this seems to be a building, but it is building of the Babylon. It's contributing to this whole kingdom of Babylon that they built. That uh, all of us, okay, the whole humanity is building now. So I don't want to contribute to this Babylon. I go out. I don't want to build Babylon. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the fourth. And the fifth is that we need to choose the path of meekness and um, uh, not having any evil thoughts or retaliation against them, or any aggression okay this is another spirit that we choose that we uh, path that we uh, step on we don't uh, try to uh, push through uh, aggressively okay to conquer someone to um, overcome something uh, some some somebody hits you we don't hit back this is the principle that we choose okay we are humble and in this we uh, like doves okay like children like uh, not spoiled children like we have today but like uh, good kind children they don't hit back okay they, they, uh, so this is the spirit 
and the uh, path that we're choosing. We're choosing it uh, on a daily basis. And uh, to get stronger, firmer on this path, which is chosen by so few people, we need to uh, have this advent land, okay? And we limit what we eat, okay? But, uh, it's not just rules of uh, diet. I don't eat this, I eat that. And no, this is just uh, helping us uh, in the whole uh, feeling, the virtue of uh, abstinence that I can control my old man. The old man always wants this, wants that, wants to consume. Um, I begin with food. If I can contain my uh, food uh, habits, I, I can uh, contain other things. So uh, uh, this uh, land, okay, we, it's uh, not a very strict land. We can eat fish, uh, except uh, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, but we don't eat meat, eggs, and uh, dairy, uh, and also less less food. Uh, also, we abstain from uh, passions such as anger, or lust, or greed, okay, or other things. Okay, these passions that are coming out and uh, okay, push us in the wrong direction. We control them during the land. We put more effort into this. We don't quarrel in, in the houses. We put more effort into prayer. This is the second. Okay? Uh, we make it more stable, morning, evening prayer. During the day, find time, open, five minutes, uh, pray. We need to be always in this co communication with God, this living contact, dialogue with, with the Lord. Uh, spiritual reading, reading the Gospel, reading the Holy Scripture, the Holy Fathers. Uh, having uh, our thoughts attuned with their thoughts, not with this world, this 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 uh, circle of samsara, always uh, worried, always reading the news, always in this uh, in this stress. No, we think what the saints, what their problems were, what they they faced, the spiritual issues, and we are thinking about the spiritual issues that we need to solve. Uh, also, uh, we do good things, these deeds of mercy, uh, ministry, uh, help others. Okay? We, we are also actively involved more during the land time, during this, uh, this time. And if we can, we also do mission. We share the gospel with others, with our relatives, with our family, with people in the internet, we give in a good way, uh, okay? not aggressively. We share, we do testimony. So these are the things we need to focus on during this time, and this will give us peace coming from above. Okay, everybody is so much stressful. So many people have no sleep. They have fears. They have worries. The, the, the peace comes from the Lord, not from other Savior who will come and solve, bring some technology. The world now is the same as it was at that time. We are waiting for solution, for salvation. We want these technologies and uh, uh, things to come to save us. We want to save the overpopulation problem. We want to save the overpollution problem. And many other things. Go to space, go to Mars, go to, 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 to save to, uh, somehow this, this planet, this society. And, well, let pe people who do it, let them do it. Okay? We don't uh, um, expect salvation coming from there. We expect salvation coming from Jesus Christ and uh, God the Father. May the Lord give us this peace, give us uh, strengthen our faith, make us uh, stronger in our commitment not to fail Him on a daily basis, to be loyal to Him every moment of our life. I mean, may the Lord's joy and help be with you during this time of Advent and uh, success in the in the Christmas land, I mean.